Hi all and welcome to Code Tutorials. In this video we are going to show you how to display tweets on your WordPress website. We'll show you a few different ways you can do this, including how to do it with Code Interactive themes. In WordPress, the most common and one of the most convenient locations to display tweets is the sidebar. User experience dictates that tweets can often be found in sidebars, so people will probably look for your tweets there intuitively. So let's take a look at how you can display your tweets in the WordPress sidebar. One option involves using the text widget. But before we head over to our WordPress dashboard, we need to copy the URL of the Twitter profile we want to add to the website. When you've done that, open your dashboard and go to Appearance, Widgets. Find the text widget on the left side of the screen, this is where all your widgets are. Then, since we'll be adding our tweets to the sidebar, simply drag and drop the text widget to the appropriate widget area on the right. If you're not a fan of the drag and drop method, then you can use the add widget option that comes with each widget. Just select where you want to put it and go to add widget. After adding it to the sidebar, you can position your text widget wherever you like it to be within this area by dragging it up or down with your mouse. When you're settled on its position, you should paste the Twitter URL that you copied earlier into the text widget. To complete the action, click Save. And let's see what the recent tweets will look like on the front end. Refresh the page so the change becomes visible. And there they are. Now, you might not want to share the entire feed of your recent tweets in your sidebar. In that case, you can show a single tweet, a specific thread, or any other Twitter link, such as a Twitter collection, a moment, your likes timeline, and so on. The steps to add a single tweet to your website are similar to what we just did. Go to Appearance, Widgets, and find and drag the text widget to the sidebar area. Or you can, like I'm about to, use the same widget as before. We'll simply replace the link for the Twitter account with the link to a specific tweet. So, first copy the link of your tweet, thread or anything else you wish to display in your sidebar. Then paste it in the text widget and hit the Save button. To see if everything worked as it should, go to your website's front end to check the results. Refresh the page. And there it is, our single tweet. There's another way to display tweets in the WordPress sidebar, and it involves using the Twitter Publish feature. You can use the Twitter Publish feature if you want to display your Twitter posts without the scroll bar. This feature is also convenient because it allows you to copy embed codes for any length from your Twitter, which includes your feed, a single tweet or a thread, a collection, a list, a moment, a likes timeline, and more. To generate the embed code for your Twitter feed, Head to the Twitter Publish web page and enter your Twitter page URL. We'll copy ours from the tab we're keeping open. Paste, then hit the arrow on the right side of the box. Once you do this, two options will appear, Embedded Timeline and Twitter Buttons. Since the second option only allows you to display a Twitter button on your site, you should pick the first one. That's it. Now all you need to do is copy the embed code. There is this convenient button to help you do it. After that, go back to the WordPress widgets screen, that's under Appearance Widgets, find the custom HTML widget on the left and drag it into the sidebar widget area on the right. Then simply paste the code you got from Twitter Publish into the content section of your widget and click the Save button. Now when we check the front, refresh the page first, there, the Twitter feed no longer has a scroll bar. If you want to add a single tweet or any other type of Twitter link to your sidebar using Twitter Publish, the procedure is the same. Paste the URL of your tweet in this box, click on the arrow to generate the embed code, then go to your widgets and either drag a new custom HTML widget into the sidebar or reuse the old one like we're going to do. Finally, paste the embed code from Twitter Publish into the content field of your widget and hit the Save button. 
and let's see it now. Refresh. There it is. A single tweet instead of the recent tweets field. Now, even though the sidebar is the most common area where you can put your tweets, that doesn't mean it's the only one. You can add tweets to other parts of your site as well, like your footer or side area or any other widget area of your choice. The steps you need to take are the same ones we just did. Only instead of a sidebar, you need to drag your text widget or custom HTML widget to the widget area you want to use instead. Other than that, you can also add tweets to any of your pages or posts. We'll show you how to do it using Gutenberg and Classic Editor. To add your most recent tweets to one of your pages or posts in Gutenberg Editor, you need to start by accessing that page or post in your backend. That's done by going to Posts, All Posts, or Pages, All Pages. If you're creating a brand new page or post, you need to go to Add New under Pages or Add New under Posts. We'll use a post to show you. Open. Once there, click on the plus icon in the upper left corner. Next, type in Twitter in the search bar and select the Twitter block when it appears. Now that we've added a Twitter block to our post, we need to copy the Twitter profile's URL and paste it into the Twitter block. Then click on Embed. Finally, don't forget to hit the Update or Publish button to save the changes. And let's see how things look on the front. Ok, good. We now have a Twitter feed displayed on our post. There's another way you can use to add tweets to your page or post in Gutenberg. It involves using the Twitter Publish feature. Again, you need to start by copying the profile or tweet URL. Then go back to Twitter Publish, paste your URL, and click on the arrow to get the embed code. Pick Timeline once more, and copy the code you get. Then open the page or post where you want to display your tweets. We're going to use the same post for our showcase. To do that, we'll also remove the old Gutenberg Twitter block. Click on the plus sign and type in custom HTML to find the custom HTML block. Then all you need to do is paste the embed code that you got from Twitter Publish into the custom HTML block. Once you've done that, hit the update or publish button on your post. And then go to check on the front end to see if everything is there as it should be. And voila! The Twitter feed is displayed right there on the post. You can also use this Gutenberg editor method for adding a single tweet, a list, a thread, a moment, etc. to your page or post. The steps are very similar. Go to the page or post's backend, we'll use a post again. Click on the plus icon to add a block and look for the Twitter block. Select it and then paste the link of your tweet there. I'm going to use the link to this tweet, for example. Paste, then click on Embed. Before we save the change, we need to remove the old unnecessary custom HTML block. And after that, update or publish. Now let's take a peek at the front. Ok, it's there. Good. Finally, if you want to add a single tweet to your page or post with the help of Twitter Publish, copy your tweet URL. We'll use a different one so the change on the front is visible. Then paste it on the Twitter Publish page. Copy the embed code you get. And go to the back end of your page or post. Again, click the plus icon and search for the custom HTML block. Once you add it, paste the embed code within the block. Then go to Update or Publish. And that's it. When you take a look at your post front end, your tweet will be displayed in your page or post's content. If you're not using Gutenberg, there's a way to add tweets to WordPress pages and posts using the Classic Editor. That's done by copying and pasting your Twitter URL directly into the editor. Open the page or post you want to use in Classic Editor. We'll use a post again. Make sure that the visual mode is turned on. Then just make sure to paste your URL in a separate line. It can be wherever you like within your content. 
Then click the Publish or Update button and check the front end of your page or post. OK, there it is. The process is the same if you want to add a single tweet or a thread to your page or post. Just copy the URL of your tweet, go to the back end of your post, and figure out where you want it on the page or post. Then paste the URL in the Classic Editor's visual mode. Click Publish or Update. Then check the front. And you're all set. You can do the same thing with Twitter Publish. It's a touch harder to navigate as you need to use the text editing mode in Classic Editor. But we'll show you in case you want to try it or if you're more comfortable working with code. To add your Twitter feed or a single tweet or thread with Twitter Publish, you first need to go to the Twitter Publish page. Then paste your feed or tweet URL and click on the arrow. Copy the embed code you get. Go to your page or in our case post. Switch to text mode in your editor and insert the embed code where you want it to be. This is why this method is a bit harder to navigate. If you're not comfortable with how short codes look in the backend, then you might find it hard to spot where to put your Twitter embed code. If you choose to use this method, look for new lines and tag ends, meaning closing tags. When you're done, you can click on Publish. And go to check your page or post to see what it looks like live. Finally, for those of you using code interactive themes, there is another way you can display tweets. The first thing you need to do is connect your WordPress website to Twitter. That's done in Code Options Social. We need to find the Connect with Twitter option. In order to connect with Twitter, you need to be logged into your Twitter account. So if you haven't done that already, now's the moment. Then hit the Connect with Twitter button and click on Authorize App. After you do this, you'll see a message letting you know you've successfully connected your Twitter account. After this, you will still have the option to reconnect with Twitter, in case you want to connect a different account to your website, for example. Now that you've connected your Twitter to your WordPress website, you can start displaying tweets. Code Themes offers two ways in which you can display tweets. One is by using the code Twitter widget, and the other is with the help of a shortcode. Let's start with the first one, adding tweets using the code Twitter widget. To use this method, go to Appearance, Widgets, and find the code Twitter widget in the list of available widgets on the left. Then select the widget area where you wish your tweets to be displayed and click on Add Widget. We'll be using the sidebar widget area for this. Since we used it for our earlier examples too, let me just reorganize this and delete the widgets we don't need anymore, like this custom HTML and this text widget here. OK, good. This widget comes with a few useful options which will allow you more control over how your tweets will be displayed. For example, you can set the number of tweets you want to be shown or whether you want to show tweet time. When you've set everything to your preference, save the changes. And check how everything looks on the front. OK, everything is there and looks good. The second method of adding tweets includes using a shortcode. Since code themes come with the integrated WP Bakery plugin, you can put your tweets anywhere on your page or post with the help of the code Twitter feed shortcode. That's done by opening the page or post you want to use. Then select the WP Bakery page builder to edit your page or post. From there, you just need to click on Add Element and find the code Twitter feed. The short code has the same general options as the code Twitter widget, so you can do some further customization from here. And in the Design Options tab, some additional options allow you to alter the design of your tweets. Here you can change the author name color, screen name and date color, and the color of your text. When you're finished, save changes. And head over to see how your tweets will be displayed. This is what they will look like in the bridge theme. And that's it! 
Thank you for watching. We hope you found this tutorial helpful and if you like to learn more about WordPress, feel free to follow us on any of our social media channels.